forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to my Star Alpha 18. We are playing the War of the... No, War of the Walks. <laughs> War 3 Zook mod. Um, so last episode we went through the church and we got a ton of loot. Also got a badass demolisher boss over here. He's huge and uh, radiated. But yeah, so we managed to kill him without destroying our base. And I actually also found this. HG Mossberg 500 schematic. So I'm guessing that's the thing that uses 500 ammo. And then we have a ton of schematics and stuff over here we can sell and some armor over here. I just need to do a little bit of sorting because I don't know what goes where at the moment. We do need resources though. The sooner we have concrete mixed, the better. So I wonder how much stone do we have? Um, wait, this can actually go into. I could smelt it down for cement, yes. But the more of this I can make, the better. We can actually start our base then. So that's 2 minutes 30. We do have some cement over here. That's just 38 blocks worth. So if we can go to the trader and sell a ton of stuff. And also buy a ton of stuff. That's going to come in handy. But the only problem is we need to repair stuff to sell. And we only have one duct tape, one glue. We need way more. So we need jars. The sooner... Wait, that was already smelted in, wasn't it? No, I didn't put it in. Damn. Uh, we need to put this in and we need more sand, but for that we need a cement mixer. What do we need for that again? We have actually already crafted, we just need four springs. Oh, that was the reason. We needed springs. Okay, so I'm going to have to take my wrench with me. The one we got last episode. It's a crappy quality one, but at least we can use it. Now, I need better shoes, guys. I need to be able to fall and not damage my feet. Unfortunately, at the moment, all we have is this and you can't mod this. As soon as you try and mod it, there's nothing there. So if I find any shoes, I'm going to put them on immediately and we're going to wear that. Even if it's just level 1 quality, you'll be able to mod it. Okay, anyways, let's go and see what we can do this episode while we wait for those blocks to, uh, blocks to craft. I'm actually considering using the, uh, the, ch uh, the almost said church, <laughs> the hospital as a main base. But I don't know if that's actually going to be worth it. Let's just try and do the apartment building. And then at least we have these blocks cleared. Although, what's this to the left? Seems to be buildings up there. Imagine if that's another trader right there. But I don't know. That's not that side. It's this side. There's buildings at the back over there. But I think it's just part of this town curving around like that. I don't want to waste my time with stuff like that. Food and water. How are we doing? Food and water. Maxed out so I can go. I don't have to worry about stuff too much. Just need to keep my eyes open for those demolisher zombies, guys. There's no way I can take a boss like that down with the current guns and ammo and stuff I have. A fully modded gun, perhaps? But definitely not this gun. Especially you guys saw last episode. I shot him four times with my OP shotgun. The long barrel one. And barely did any damage. So those guys are insanely tough. Okay, so. I'm just going to make a ton of noise over here. Hope they don't break through the windows. But rather come for the doors over here. What is this? Stone. Okay, so let them help me break the door then. Oh, it needs repairs. Um, any stone over here? It's a good thing I noticed that now. Because I'm going to have to use this to break through stuff. Only have eight lockpicks uh, left, so that's gonna have to be for that last room where the secret stash is. Come on, shotgun time. Let's see how how this works. See, it's a really a strong gun, but it just takes a while to reload. So I'm gonna have to use this in conjunction with my junk turret to really get a to get down to it to get the thing flowing. Okay, so there is some there's so much resources over here that I can be taking, guys. But for now, I'm just gonna be focusing. On grabbing... Ooh, that was a fire axe. Yes. Should I be looting all of this? I don't think so. We don't need all the... Or rather, let's just loot it then it's done. Then we know all the pure eyes we go through are done. Except the hospital, obviously. Uh, just now we find more schematics and stuff we can read. Let's just do this. And that's going to help us out tremendously. So if we can loot this whole place this episode, obviously that's going to be a big help, a big benefit. Unfortunately, some of these rooms are closed and... Wait, I do now have that fire axe. Let's do this then. And it's a steel fire axe. Yes! Okay, that's definitely going to be worth it. I love this art. I really love this art. Okay, so we should be able to break this down quite easily then. Uh, the only reason I'm looting this is for the chance at a, another wrench or two. I mean, we need wrenches and usually get that in the bathrooms. Or not in the bathrooms, in the cabinets. Okay, so this one is still locked. Shotgun time. No zombies in here. Let's just do this. We just need to be as close as possible to it. I still hear it, so it's still active. Nice. I wonder what the range on this thing is. 
While I'm busy with these rooms, that needs to notify me if something sneak, uh, sneaks up on me. Okay, so we're going to do this. Put it closer to the door. And loot the rest. It's a shame I'm doing this like a live stream. I think that would have been easier than uh, looting like this. Because usually when I loot stuff like this, I just cut away. But now, to make the episode long enough, I can't just cut away anything. I need to actually be looting and talking to you guys. But in a stream, at least I can be talking to you guys while I'm looting this thing, so it's not as boring. I mean, there's four floors to this thing. We've only done three rooms out of four. So we still have a ton of stuff to get through before we are done over here. Okay, now we need a pick as soon as possible. Hello, are you going to break that down for me? Oh, not that much. Um, it's just a shame. When you start this game, you're supposed to get a pick or something with a certain class. And I can't remember which one it was. I know one class gives you the auger and one gives you the pick. And I didn't get it. Doesn't matter what class I chose. I, start o I started over a few times before episode 1. And I just couldn't get any tools. So I don't know if it was changed uh, from the last time I tried it. Or what went wrong or what happened. But yeah, it's definitely not like that anymore. Unless I have heard a lot of people say that the game is sometimes bugged. Like, um, you should be getting those things, but you don't get them all the time. Okay, so it seems I don't always have to put my junk turret down. Although it is just nice being able to know if there's zombies coming. I mean, imagine one of those... Come on, one of those uh, demolisher zombies just strolls in here. At least the turrets will make him go uh, boom. Or, it'll start shooting and I'll see it's him and I can just move to one corner of the room. So if he explodes, there's less chance that I actually die. Okay, guys, I hope the sound is to your liking. Like I said, I'm doubling the sound in my videos. So hopefully you guys can actually hear that. You can actually feel that in the recordings. Okay, some of these rooms are just plain old empty. Although, scrap uh, pipes or short pipes, we can get it less, just like that. So it's, it's nice. Every uh, one of these rooms we go into, there's a bed that we can quickly take apart. And there's so much resource. I'm, I want to take all the scrap polymers of here, but I just can't. It's going to take forever. I mean, the video is already 30 to 40 minutes long, and I'm, I'm talking most of the time. I'm so used to Darkest Falls, I talk, and I... Uh, well, I don't have to talk... No. With my episodes, the way I'm doing Darkest Falls now, I have to talk a lot. So I'm, I now have that habit of talking too much, where I don't need to be talking. Like, for example, with these longer episodes, I can cut out a ton, but I can't now because I'm talking too much. Bed, thank you. Although you guys, uh, you guys probably aren't complaining because it's more... Wait, where are you? Next door. I bet you guys aren't complaining because at least it's more content for you. Are you over here? Where are you? Hello, let's just first kill you. I'm glad I didn't destroy a cabinet just now. We just need to keep reloading every now and then. We can't afford for the gun to be empty when there's a ton of zombies on us. Nice, another bed for me, thank you. Although every time I use this fire axe, the quality goes down, so I don't know if it's the best thing to go for beds. I mean like this, oh yeah, you don't even need to go in. Just do this, loot that, voila, you've looted it. Some of them you do have to go in because it's around the corner, but most of them you don't even have to break both blocks, so it saves durability on your tools. I'm not even looking at what I'm looting, I just want to loot this fast and get out of here. Usually you'd loot this place for dyes and stuff that you need. But I mean, like, for example, at the moment, we don't need dyes for anything, so we're just uh, looting it for the heck of it. Remember, also, you get your scavenging up, obviously, so it's good to be looting. Let's hope I don't get too encumbered. Ooh, you could use smoothie. Nice. Also, I should probably keep my gun on me, because sometimes zombies do not hear you open stuff up, um, and or rather dig around in the apartment building they're in, and then they start attacking you. So it's always nice just to have your weapons and stuff at the ready. Was that just a... Yep, schematic. Food. I should actually, every now and then, eat. Even though I'm not hungry, eat. That way... Ooh, tactical AR. Falcon 9 more. Uh, but yeah, uh, that way, at least you're keeping space open of here. Maldives of the Shadows sneak 5% better at night. I definitely need that with the tough zombies. Hobo stew and potato seeds. See, all these things I could be reading. And now it's taking up inventory space. This gives you better bartering at the trader. And strength plus. So I think instead of the bandana, I'm going to wear this. Although that does give you heat and cold resist. So the next skill point, one of the skill points should go into being able to... What's it? Um, insulation. Heat resist. What's it called again? It's actually bothering me now. 
a well insulator, I think. Health? Yeah, well insulated. That's where the next uh, point needs to go into. Although Fortitude needs to be level 3. So I'm going to have to spend the 2 points I get from the next up... Uh, I'm going to say upgrade. From the next level up, I'm going to have to spend in Fortitude then. Okay, so, so far so good. I mean, I wish I could be looting a little bit faster. But it's not like I'm taking forever to loot, so it's actually going well. I just hope there's no zombie just all of a sudden spawning in late. So far, the lag has been awesome. Guys, I haven't had to use the GFX thing. And my frames stick to 60. So I wonder if I'd use the GFX, how fluent the game would be then. Can I then set the settings higher and it won't lag? Or will that actually lag the game then? I want to see how bad this first day 7 horde is going to be. Um, I actually considered setting the difficulty higher, guys. But with boss demolishers and stuff all around, that might be a very dumb mistake. I mean, just now you uh, you get overconfident and then that thing shows up and wrecks your base in one explosion. Okay, so... This, hello. I want to say this should be the last level, but it's not. Reload. Let's just put the turret over here. And get to working. Okay, is this the last... No, it can't be the last floor. But then again, we are on the... Wait, why is this locked? Just the last floor should be locked. Last floor has all the loot in it. Ooh, Demon Knight. Love the art. Really love it. Okay, so. Uh, more zombies inbound. That was not the last room. Last room is supposed to have a secret stash in it. But yeah, we just need to loot this before those zombies show up. I don't want my turret wasting ammo on normal zombies. It's just an early detection system. So, if, as soon as zombies show up, I can kill them. And the turret doesn't waste too much ammo. Hello. Oh crap, reload. Shoot the zombie. And loot the zombie. Ooh, nice. Gas mask. Well, it's just iron armor, I know. But it looks like a gas mask. Okay, so... Pick this one up. Reload. This looks like the top floor. It's so weird. Okay, are there any zombies hidden up here? Whoa, what was that? That almost looks like iron walling over there to keep zombies and stuff out. That's actually cool. Okay, so we need to grab all these chairs at least. As you guys know, those chairs give you mechanical parts. The office chairs. And just quickly loot this before the zombies show up. They are starting to break through the doors, so it's just a matter of time before they get in here. Is that one with a washing machine that's busy breaking down its door? I need to invest in looting as well, but for now let's just go for Fortitude. Because I need to make sure we don't... I mean, Fortitude helps you with health as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a good thing, but... Um, main thing is we need to be able to survive the heat. To be able to cope in the heat. Okay, so, I am reloaded. Kill you quickly. Ooh, loot bag. I should actually quickly loot him before looting over here because the loot bag could disappear. But I am looting so fast, so there's no real point to that. It's just a shame all these walls are stone. I'll be able to break through the sides faster. Well, then again, that's not always the case. Okay, so this is lootable. This is lootable. There might be a garbage bag right there. Garbage can. But I mean, what's the, ch what's the chance of it actually having something awesome? Well, then again, it might have some glue in, which would be awesome. Also, I just noticed, guys, we've been picking up these pot plants. And I keep saying we don't have any clay. But I've been picking up uh, pot plants. How is that possible? Okay, so we're going to destroy this. I keep hearing, it's almost like crickets, like it's uh, very late at night. But it's not. It's only 20 past 2. So I don't know if it, uh, if it spells the crickets for afternoon or what. I don't know if it's just my imagination. It's almost like I can hear crickets or something going off in the game. Okay, uh, I'll just place this one over here. We already looted the bathroom. Imagine getting cornered by a wandering horde of demolishers. I think that would be the worst experience ever because the one would set off the other. So by the time your loot bag drops, it's going to disappear from all the falling. I mean, if that many zombies go off, your loot bag is gone. Especially if you have a ton of loot like you've been mining or something. Oh, that's going to suck. Please tell me this is the last floor. Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. How many floors are there? I really feel like we should have been done with these floors already. Shouldn't be complaining because loot's loot, but still. Ooh, yes. For once, a desk that actually works. I think for Horde Knight, guys, I'll use that GFX command. Just in case the zombies that spawn. Remember, they're going to be... 
uh, HD zombies. Just in case the ones that spawn are H too much for the system to handle, the GFX thing is going to kick in. But I think as soon as we get the lag, I'll use that. Uh, I want to see if we can actually go without that command for this mod now. Which is weird because I got lagged the very first time I tried this mod and now all of a sudden it's running better than Darkness Falls. Okay, so which one first? Ooh, that answered it for me. And killed him. Nice. Okay, so... I'll just let them come to me without placing the turret. It might be a mistake, might not. Who knows. They are busy breaking through there, so it's just a matter of time before they get to me. Grab that one, destroy this. This is just a bedroom if I'm not mistaken. Make sure my gun is reloaded. Yeah, it's coming. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, two of you. Aww. I really hoped you'd be in, uh, in a line so I could shoot both of you at the same time. Make sure we are reloaded. Almost wasn't. That would have been bad. I hate that click of death. I call it the click of death because I mostly die when it clicks. Unless I'm really lucky and I can just run backwards. Okay, so... I think a lot of people call it... A lot of people just call it the click. But we all know it's a click of death, that one. Okay, so we have been in here, I think. No, we have not. This is where she came from. Okay, nice. But that other guy's gonna break to us now because he's also wailing on that little bit of a block. So we need to get through this place fast. Or at least I hope he's not feral so that if he breaks through, we can see him for in time and just kill him. It's gonna suck if he's running a little bit faster than the rest, because some of them are running faster. Um, but yeah, then I won't be able to see him before he hits my back. And they don't make a ton of noise, they're running right into the room behind you, but you don't really hear them. Okay, so I think this is the second last floor, guys. And... Gun at the ready. Oh, I thought I might be able to shoot her and this block at the same time. But with the choke mod I have on at the moment, that's not really working. I could have sworn I just heard a bear downstairs. If that bear comes up here, especially the fact that I only have two shots at a time, I might just die. Please tell me that was just my imagination. Imagine a mod where demolition stuff come in the army. But like wandering zombies, they just come at you in the army. They don't care. Doesn't matter the time of day, doesn't matter what, they come for you. I mean, basically, it's already like that in this mod because demolishers come for you, doesn't matter the time of day. And there are boss zombies out there. Let's hope they don't get into my base again. Man, I love this. I really want to see who the artist is, but it doesn't show properly. You should be able to see on the site, though. Okay, so these are done, so we should be on the last level now. That last room is going to be tricky, though. That one. There's going to have a ton of zombies in that one room. Okay, so can I kill the zombies in here? Are there any zombies in here? If not, it's going to be way easier getting to this place. Well, then again, by the time I'm done with this room, the other rooms are going to be on me already. Because there's only like a thin piece of uh, wood between me and them. Let's just do this. That is a lumberjack. This will slow him down just enough so I can actually do the finishing blow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It seems like out of, it sounds like they're out of their rooms. But they're not. Is this loot that I can loot? No, it's not. Um, damn it, I thought I might be able to shoot both of them at the same time. Please don't tell me there's a scream in here. I wonder if the scream is outside or inside. I need to actually put my turret down in such a way that I can actually shoot whatever goes in here. It's coming up towards me. Please come up and don't see me. Let the turret take you out. I want to hide in one corner over here so that the turret does the trick. But I don't think I'll have that opportunity. It would be awesome though, I don't have to worry. Oh, damn. Um, before we go for this safe, let's just see if the other safe only takes the amount of um, lockpicks we have. We don't have any real tools we can actually break in there with, unfortunately. It sucks though, because I wanted to be able to break through there. Okay, so we're just going to do that, eat this. I have so much loot on me at the moment, it is insane. Should probably scrap as much as possible. Don't really know if I should eat anything over here. Cat food. Don't know why that doesn't have food poisoning. I mean, that's not people friendly. Okay, so I have made as much space as I possibly can. Wait, wait, I can make one more space with the duct tape. I'm hiccuping so bad at the moment. It's not even funny. Okay, so let's just do this. 
Where is that screamer zombie though? I hope she doesn't just surprise me from the side. I just have this feeling all of a sudden she's gonna be behind me screaming. Okay, so shotgun at the ready. I wonder if she gave up. Is she in one of the rooms that I still need to go? Yeah. She's in that room over there. If she doesn't see me, she won't scream. But as soon as she sees me, she's going to scream and alert everyone. And I don't really care for that. <laughs> I don't want her to scream. Okay, so let's just see this. If I can perhaps make a hole, put my turret in there and let the turret shoot her, that's going to be awesome. Oh, another safe. That's two safes that I can't get to at the moment. Wait, she's breaking through over here. So if I can do this... I need to help her a little bit, but not too much. Can I break this? Before it breaks, I need to move back. Okay, grab. Run, 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 run. Come on, break that wall. Break that wall. Why is the turret not shooting her? It should be shooting her, shouldn't it? She's gonna see me now when I go closer. Damn it. It's not shooting her for some reason. Oh. Uh, she's standing at such, such an angle that the thing is not shooting at her at all. Okay, so I haven't looted these yet now. I wonder if I shouldn't just help her with this wall then. If I can destroy that for her. Is that my turret down over there? I need to break this such, such a way that she doesn't scream. I don't know how it's going to work with her screaming. Why are you not shooting her? Where is this lady? Well, let's just break this down and check this out. I'm really curious as to where she is. Oh, that's why. She looks like a baby crawling around on the floor. That's actually really, really creepy. Okay, so if zombies come out of that room now, at least this turret will fire at them. I just hope she didn't just spawn something. She didn't scream or anything that I could hear, but you never know. Okay, did I get all these rooms now? I am so encumbered. Okay, so I did that one, I did that one. I need to go through here now. At least we do have the turret that's going to help us with that room. But I don't know how much it's actually going to help. I am so nervous right now, I need to go, uh, I need to go pee. <laughs> Come on. Just the anticipation of there might be a ton of zombies in there. The chances are very low, but I mean there might just be a ton. Well, not low, usually there's zombies in there, but sometimes if you're lucky it's empty. Okay, so, this place is empty, empty. Hot plants, need to make sure we grab all of them. And now, turret time. Please, 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 please. Is anyone in there? Doesn't seem to be. Nice. Okay. I'm not going to complain. Ooh, another turret and cooling mesh. Yes. Okay, we need to read this. Last shot in the chamber does double the damage. Ooh, nice. Uh, tempered blade schematic. HD mod schematic. Just one clay. No, thank you. Uh, read that. Drop that. Damn, I am so encumbered. If something chases me now, I am so screwed. Okay, so please give me something awesome. I love the fact that I don't have to do two shots. I keep forgetting this is a steel fire axe. So the damage on this thing is insane. I just need to get myself a steel pickaxe now. Okay, so this is a... Carabiner 98k. I don't know if I'm saying like a carabiner or carabiner. Okay, so this is a stone axe. Let's just scrap that one. I mean, it's just stone, so what's the point? And for a moment I thought that was food. <laughs> I wanted to eat that just now. Okay, so we need to make space. Although, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. That might just be better than the one I have at the moment. Six and eight. And this one's three and seven. How is this one weaker than this one? Okay, anyways, let's just get rid of that one. Uh, we have a ton of food, so I'm actually feeling like scrapping a few things. Please tell me my lockpick isn't going to fail over and over and over again. Okay, so failed three times, I think. Uh, what's this? Vulcan 50 ma- Oh, it's a, it's, this thing's a powerful gun. I think I'm going to have to use that for the demolisher bosses. Gas generator, and grab. Okay, so now we should have enough lockpicks left to attempt the other two safes. 
Uh, let's just hope it's enough. But where are they now? Am I just looking past them? Da, da, da. There, six. Please tell me six is enough. There's two, uh, if not my second, two safes now that I have not looted. Just need to remember which rooms they were in. I think one was in this side. Over here, yep. And the other one's in the, one of the next rooms. Please take... Okay, two lockpicks. I use that trick where if it breaks, just destroy something, like the table over there. And then try again. And it worked this time. But sometimes it insta-fails again. Okay, so there's another safe. I think it's in the room next door. It's not this one. Just want to make sure where that safe is. It's in the wall, I think, in the office. Yeah, it's in the uh, room next door. As soon as we have this, guys, we have three safes. Let's just hope the four last lockpicks are enough. If not, it's just going to suck. I don't want to waste my steel sledgehammer. Although I do have iron ones, so I could probably. But I hope that's not necessary. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Get my proper turret down and ready. Okay, please, four lockpicks. Oh, I think that was my last lockpick. No, one more. Oh, I could have sworn I just broke all of them. Vulcan, nine more parts. Thank you. Damn, guys, I am so encumbered at the moment. Look how slow I'm moving. This is just insane. But now we've looted the whole place, got all the safes. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a roof to this place as well. Although I might be thinking of a, a different... I, I might be thinking of the hotel. I know there's a hotel as well. This is just an apartment complex. But yeah, we got all the stuff we need. I just saw a pot plant over there that I could have grabbed. But I need to keep my eyes open for stuff like that. We need clay. So instead of going digging for clay, we can just do that. Now, I need to equip this. My stamina is super, super low. Do we have coffee? We should have a coffee on us. Yes. What does this do? Stamina regen, 25%. Cold resist and duration, 3 minutes. Yeah, we need this right now to get back to the base. Because we're carrying a ton of stuff. So, luckily we do have our turret. So, if there's a tough zombie in between us, we just drop the turret and it helps us. But if it's a demolisher zombie, there's no way we're outrunning that thing before it explodes. Uh, well, we could technically take it out before it explodes by targeting its legs. But these things have a ton of health on them. HP. I wanted to say HP, but then said health. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of HP on them, so just going for the legs is a waste of ammo. Come on, run, 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 run. And I'm so hot again as well. My storage at the moment isn't even enough. That's how big... Oh, that's how much loot I'm getting from this place now. Okay, so stamina. Regen is going up. Thank you. I swear, if I jump in here again and there's another demolisher waiting for me, that's going to suck. Did I put a... Frame back over there. Yeah, I think I did. We need a... a oh, no. I keep messing up A and N. Um, we need an auger, guys, as soon as possible. So I need springs and stuff. So as soon as I see a car, I need to use my... Oh, we passed a few cars, didn't we? I need to use my wrench. The sooner we get proper... Um, let's just drop this as well. The sooner we actually get proper... Uh, parts and stuff, we can start making concrete mixers and augers and things. Whoa. Brain freeze. Brain fart. Okay, just do that. Um, drop these. That is just a schematic, right? Yep. Okay, so this box is going to be so full soon. Let's just do this. See which wrench was the best. I think this one. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff goes in here. We actually got some electric relays as well. Don't know how that works, but I'm not going to complain. That's a food care package. This is a resource care package. This is motors. What? What's? What was that just now? Ammo supply and ammo supply. From there, it actually said motor something. Um, I think this was the. Uh, it's ammo supply again. This is ammo supply. So a ton of ammo supply basically. Um, claw hammer. That's tools. Yeah, we need more space over here, guys. At the moment, we don't have enough space for everything. Although these are, we have all read, so we just actually go to the trader and drop all of the stuff off, sell this stuff. Just the books alone, together, will be a ton of cash. I'm not going to sell the clothing yet, because unfortunately we don't have repair kits enough for all of them. But until then, we are actually able to sell a ton of these schematics. It's now 6 o'clock, we should actually make it to the trader before nightfall. So let's just quickly see if we can drop a few things that we don't need. Food we might just need. Wrench we might definitely just need when you come back for a car. Uh, die, no, die goes in miscellaneous. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. This does what? Nuka Cherry. 20% run speed. Then again, I do have my Nuka Cola. Uh, let's use this one. 
I'll also just take one coke for the way back. And I should probably put this away as well. I need to put this on one of my armor pieces, but my armor is too low level to have too many mods on. Okay, so we need to do this, this, take the cash, we can sell that. And all the stuff that's just schematics for now. And stuff that's not damaged, like the jacket, the shades, and that's it. <laughs> we need to sell a ton of guns, guys, but we need to repair those guns first. Okay, so the trader is right there. Let's just hope we make it before nightfall. If we run now, even if we're overheating, if we drink this cherry thing, we should be able to make it all the way. It's going to increase our run speed, hopefully help with our stamina. Is this just a random zombie or a horde? Random zombie. Let's go. I can't afford to stick around too long for normal zombies. On the way back, I'm going to stop for these cars in the parking lot and just dismantle them and hope we get a ton of springs. Okay, there was something at the back of the hospital because there are landmines over there. Come on, come on, run, 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 run. Okay, wow, we got very, very far. The stamina does drop a ton, but I mean, just look how far you're able to just sprint. That just saved me a ton of time, so I need to actually make sure I have a ton of these drinks. I don't know if there's a drawback to them, like if you drink too much, something happens. At the moment, it looks awesome. Okay, so the town the is northeast, southwest, southwest. So if we get any jobs from her, let's just see. Do you have any jobs? Southwest, fetch. Southwest, buried treasure. Let's go I for the buried treasure would... first. Oh, this uh, just like Darkness Falls, we'll start with the long. easiest ones. Okay, yeah, so... Really let's sell all of this. Just hope I don't accidentally sell something that I really need. I just need to watch out. If there's a stack of stuff, I need to do that. Just sell it as fast as possible. It is almost night time, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do a quest before nightfall. But hopefully we can. Also guys, I might just do until Horde Day 7, instead of the Horde Day 14 like I said in the previous episode. Um, reason being is we're getting so much done, so many episodes, and it's only Day 3 already. So yeah, Horde 7, if you guys like the mod, I'll play more. If you don't like the mod, I'll stop it. But so far, it's not a bad mod, I have to say. It actually surprises me. Okay, we need weapons and ammo, and we need to be ready for this Horde. That's why there's so many different kinds of guns, because of the badass zombies out there. I don't think we'll be able to be ready for this horde. Is there any concrete mix over here? Ooh, duct tape. Now all of a sudden she has duct tape. Are you kidding me? Okay, so, uh, only 150. I should have bought the previous round. Uh, this I can actually buy. It's just 144 for all of that. And that's going to give me 400 blocks. Um, I just hope that there aren't too many demolishers on me during the horde because then that's going to definitely screw with my plans. Okay, so we need duct tape, but is there glue? If there's glue, then yeah, that's cheaper. That's 1.9, just there, so I can make my own duct tape. It's cheaper than buying duct tape. I don't think we need anything else over here. Perhaps iron, but we can go mining for that. Springs, let's just get as many as possible. I know I'm going to take apart cars anyways, guys, but this is going to come in handy. We need these items. So I don't think we're going to do the dig quest right now. Thanks for the it's business. 7, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get back before then. Dust. Just see, where is this? You know, we don't have clocks. Oh, it's right there. I might be able to make it back to the treasure. Let's just quickly check this out. If I can get that treasure now, but then, then again, guys, I don't have the treasure skill maxed. So, And also, it's not like Darkest Falls where you can just glitch into the ground and you're lucky. So we might just have to dig quite a bit now to be able to get this treasure. Luckily it is this biome, so it's very easy to dig, but then I should have actually brought my stone shovel because it uses less stamina than this one. Come on. I'm gonna force you to be interfering over here. Please don't tell me there's any zombies that aren't gonna be interfering over here. I can't afford to move away. As soon as you're in view of the uh, treasure, and when it lights up red, then you have to complete that quest. Otherwise it says you failed it because you uh, missed the mark. Okay, now the problem is going to be where the hell is this treasure? I see you can't glitch to the ground like with Darkest Falls, so it's a little bit harder to do. And it's on a hill. Oh wow, that's sandstone. Please don't tell me it's inside sandstone. That's going to be almost impossible to dig right now, especially with the tools we have. So if I can't find it here, guys, I might just have to fail this quest. Because like I said, this is a hill, so... The chances of me finding it is really, really, really low. Oh, there it is. Nice. Uh, are zombies going to spawn like in Darkness Falls? Or what's going to happen? Or, or, or even vanilla. I don't know if zombies spawn in vanilla. Grandpa's awesome sauce. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, zombie spawn. Okay, so it seems it's a vanilla thing, not just a mod thing. Zombie spider. Oh, I almost forgot this one in there has two shots. And this guy is armored. Okay, 1,300 XP for that guy. I don't know if the XP just stacked or not, but that is a ton. Okay, so let's quickly hand in this treasure before nightfall. Luckily, she should only be closing at 10, so we should be able to hand in this quest. And also, I should be able to get back to the base. I'm just going to drink a cola before I start running. I mean, we need to be out of this... Op out of the open as soon as possible. What's that? Is that the... No, that's a waterworks. Remember there, that almost looks like um, the prison. That's an awesome base to use. I mean, everything's reinforced concrete. If I can find the prison, that's definitely becoming my new base. Especially so, with all the demolishers and stuff. Uh, bundle, shotgun, slug. For the rest of the day. Nice! How many are in this? How many rounds are in this? So, let's complete that. Any more jobs? Southwest, fetch. Let's just hope it's not in our building. I need someone who's Always willing. Strip. If you finish okay. two more jobs this week, I will give you employee of the month. Oh, is that all? Just employee of the month? Okay, guys, I'm just going to be heading back to the base. I'm going to dismantle all the cars I can, even the cars behind this trader right now. Um, just hope I can get back before anything attacks me. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, they miss anything, what do you guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. Where is that corner? Over here.